Ms. Garcia, you're recognized. Ramirez, Ms. Ramirez. Ms. Ramirez, I'm sorry. Thank you. And as I think about the hearing now and hearing the witnesses, I think about just last year, how a horrific domestic terror attack at Buffalo, New York supermarket left our nation reeling. My colleagues across the aisle offered up their thoughts and prayers, but they offered no actions to address racially and ethnically motivated violent extremism. It is not lost on me that before murdering 10 people at the supermarket last year, the shooter wrote, and I quote, we are experiencing an invasion on a level never seen before in history. However, twisted justification, the shooter believed he was repelling an invasion of the United States by immigrants from Latin America. Does that sound familiar? Mr. Maltz, in your testimony, you said, I know what's going on in America. So let me ask you, do you support the assertion that the United States is experiencing a historic invasion by immigrants? That's a yes or no question. Illegal immigrants, immigrants from around yes the world, yes, no. yes. So you believe that we are experiencing a historic invasion of immigrants? Yes. So despite knowing that the Pittsburgh shooter justified his actions based on the idea of an immigrant invasion to replace white people, despite knowing that invasion ideology was used to justify the shootings in El Paso and Buffalo, you continue to espouse this great replacement theory and extremist ideology that people like me, when my mother crossed the border pregnant with me, don't deserve to be here because we are invading the country? Mr. Chairman, this hearing is not a fact-finding mission. It's a raw political sham to stoke fear, and it will continue to justify the violence against immigrant communities, and I find that unacceptable.